Ahead of Thanksgiving, U.S. airports witnessed their busiest weekend since the start of the pandemic. Authorities fear another spike in coronavirus cases after the holiday. Here's a report. Meet corn and cob. The pair of turkeys that will be pardoned by U.S. President Donald Trump as per Thanksgiving tradition. The turkeys made their debut at the Willard Intercontinental Hotel in Washington, D.C. We're pleased to kick off the White House's social media polls where folks can go and vote to pick which turkey will become the national Thanksgiving turkey and go to the White House to meet President Trump. After receiving their pardons, the birds will be kept at Iowa State University to live out the rest of their lives. The pair are being treated as royal guests. Well, the turkeys have their own room and uh, they, they have, uh, they're treated like kings for, the, for their stay here. And then on Tuesday, tomorrow, we will be driven over to the White House and, uh, they will, and there will be a ceremony in the Rose Garden of the White House. And that's where the President of the United States will pardon the turkeys and they will get to live out their natural life for as long as, as they live under veterinary care. Most state governors have urged citizens not to turn their dining rooms into hotbeds of coronavirus. Even as America continues to record more than 150,000 new daily cases, Thanksgiving provides people a reason to rejoice. Because Lord knows 2020 has been a little challenge, whether it's a COVID, whether it's fires, whether it's uh, uh, economic turmoil. I think it's great to celebrate something that's happy, something that's for everybody, something that's for all of America. Despite advice to avoid large gatherings, America witnessed its busiest weekend since the start of the pandemic. With more than 3 million passengers passing through U.S. airports. While this is less than half compared to last year, health officials fear it is enough to fuel a catastrophic increase in cases in December. Pennsylvania-based turkey farmer David Jendl says sales for smaller birds, ideal for limited gatherings, are on the rise this year. We're in the middle of the pandemic. We're anticipating that uh, the smaller birds might be, uh, might, might be more advantageous. And how it turned out is we did sell more smaller birds, but we sold the same amount of larger turkeys also. So it was, uh, you know, we, we had the availability, which was, uh, which was good. Stopping short of issuing an outright ban, the U.S. government has urged Americans not to travel for the holiday. It's really disappointing, and you know, it happened at Easter, and now it's Thanksgiving, and it'll be Christmas, I'm sure. So, what can you do? Gotta be safe. Well, fortunately, uh, my family, we all live with, within about a mile of one another, and we see one another on a daily basis, so we plan on spending it together. There shouldn't be anything different this year. Since the start of the pandemic, holidays have accelerated outbreaks. This happened after the 4th of July, Labor Day and Halloween. Authorities fear Thanksgiving would be no different. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.